hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a half circle skirt with pockets this video is going to be very detailed so please do watch the end if you've not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and subscribe and guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful the measurements we're going to be needing for this skirt is the waist measurement and then the full length of the skirts all right so this fabric is three yards by 60. so i'm going to keep my fabric this way and i'll fold it like so so i'm folding it to have a funnel shape remember we're making a half circle skirt i'm going to go ahead and Hold this down so our fabric has been folded in a funnel shape and the formula for a full circle skirt is C equal to 2 pi R wherever you see pi you're going to replace it with 3.142 that 3.142 is constant so C there stands for circumference and then R is for radius all right so what we're trying to get is the radius of his skirt so radius equal to circumference over two pi that is the formula for a full circle skirt but for a half circle skirt the formula is circumference equal to pi r so the difference between the full circle skirt and the half circle skirt is that two that is there so in the half circle sketch you're not going to see two we are trying to get the radius all right radius equal to circumference over pi where pi is 3.142 remember so our circumference here is going to be our waist measurement so what we are going to do is r equal to the waist measurement over 3.142 so our waist measurement here is 36 so r equal to 36 over 3.142 so if you're dividing 36 by 3.142 the answer is going to be 11.5 that means our radius is 11.5 so all right i'm going to add one inch to that um 11.5 which is going to serve for our seam allowances like our side seam all right so i'm going to measure 12.5 so from this angle i'm measuring 12.5 so i'm not moving the side i'm just moving here all right So I'm going to join the points that I marked with my ruler. You can do a freehand sketch. So remember our waist measurement is 36 and this um, fabric is folded into two. So I'm cutting the front panel first. So I'm going to divide that 36 by four. 36 by 4 is going to give us 9 plus 1 inch seam allowance, which is 10. So let's measure and see what we have. So this is 10. Let me just add my seam allowance, which is half. So if you're going to join your skirts, you're going to join it here, all right? This one is going to be the off cut. So let's cut. All right, now that we have this, I'm going to shift this so we can measure the full length of the skirt. All right, guys, so, um, so the full length of this skirt is 29. I'm going to add one inch allowance to that which is going to make it 30. 
So from this point, I'm going to measure 30. So once you get your measurement, use your ruler to join your marks, or you can equally do a freehand sketch. I'm also going to use some pins to hold this at this point so that the fabric will move. So once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead to cut. Just make sure you're cutting on the line. All right, so this is what we have. So I'm going to use this front panel to cut the back panel. So um, this is the back. The back um, panel will be folded exactly the way the front panel was folded. The only difference between the back panel and the front panel is that the back panel is going to have one inch allowance around here, which is going to be for the back zipper, all right? You don't want to fix your zipper at the back. Probably you want to fix it by the side. Then you don't have to add this one inch allowance. So I'm going to cut the waist first. Now shift it upwards so I can cut here too. I'm going to cut here open the zipper allowance I'm going to cut it open all right guys so this is what we have let me open it up and show you guys. I'm, I want to fix a side pocket to this. This is the waist, all right? So now that we have this, I'm going to fix my pocket. From the waist, I'm going to come down by four. All right, and then the opening of our skirt should be something that will contain your hand. It shouldn't be too big and it shouldn't be too small. All right, so I think six is reasonable. So the opening of our pocket is going to be six. Remember, I came down here by four. Let me give this a nod so that I'll remember where the pocket will be fixed. The same thing will be done to this part. 
I'm going to give this side to a notch. To so cut our skirts, pockets, I'm going to fold this fabric this way. From this point, I'm going to measure it. It is cool. I'm going to come in here by three quarter or half inch now this depends on how deep you want your skirt to be if you want it to be very deep you take it very deep if you don't want it to be very deep but you should put something that can contain at least your phone so i think this depth is okay this depth is okay so from here to here is 14 inches so i'm going to connect it to this part can design your pocket however you wish but for skirts like this this is how i like to design my pocket all right so i'm going to cut So I'm going to use this to cut out the other side of the pocket. All right, guys. So this is what the pocket looks like when we open it up. This one is the back of our skirt. So what I'm going to do is to place the right side of one piece of the back against the right side of the other piece of the back. Hold it with some pins. So look at what we have here. I'm going to come down here by seven inches. I'll start from here I'll join it all the way down and I'm going to sew on a one inch allowance remember that was the allowance we gave for the zipper the back zipper I'm going to start sewing from this point till I get to the hem remember this area is going to be open then I'll likewise join the front pattern to the back pattern I'll open it up this way then I'll join the right side of the front against the right side of the back this is where we have our notch so we came down here by four inches remember so I'm going to sew this on a one inch mark I'm going to sew this from this point these four inches till I get to the waist all right and then the opening is going to be seven inches so I'm going to sew from this point till I get to the hem on a one inch seam allowance then I'll sew from this point till I get to this waist area on a one inch seam allowance meaning that we are going to have an opening in the middle here this is where we are going to fix our pockets and then for the pockets I'm going to go over to the machine and I'll stitch like this There is no actual measurement for this. You can stitch this on a half inch, quarter inch, whichever one that suits you. But I'm going to stitch from this point 
all right till i get to this point i remember that this is the front and this is the back so i'm stitching on the back i'm going to do the same thing on both sides of the pocket then when i come back i'll show you guys how to fix the pocket i've sewn the pockets all right let me show you what it looks like so the back has been joined from this part and I stopped here I gave 7 inch allowance for the zipper I've sewn the sides um, I have an opening here like I told you guys so from here to this point and then from here to this point so what I'm going to do before I attach the pocket to this skirt is to go ahead and iron this down I'm going to iron this down all right so I've ironed it down look at what I have let me turn the other side so that you see what it looks like from this angle so this is what it looks like you can see that the opening is here so this is exactly where I'm going to fix my pocket so I'm going to turn this to the back now that I have this this way see the tip alright I'll fix it somewhere here Let me hold it down with a pin. So one thing you should take home is that the way I'm fixing this, I'm making sure that I place the right side of the pocket against the right side of the main skirt all right so trying to hold it down then i'll turn the other side too and i hold it down So this is what we have let me show you what we have from the front so this is what is going to look like from this front area so this is our pocket all right so I'll go back to my machine and I'll stitch from this point I'll stitch from this point I'll get to the tip here and I'll turn my machine and stitch till I get here all right one more point to note is that when I was stitching this I left off about quarter inch allowance here so I started stitching from from here instead of stitching from the extreme here i stretched in from here i stitched from here all the way down here so i left off about quarter inch allowance here this will help this to open up a bit so that i'll be able to sew this down so i'm going to go over to my machine and stitch this all the way around then I'll do the same thing for the other side pocket and then coming over to 
the hem area it is either you overlock this and then fold it once and then stitch or you double fold it like you fold once then fold again and stitch that's basically what i'm going to do to this skirt so when i come back i'll show you how to take care of the zipper and then the band i've joined all the sides and i've fixed the pocket this is how neat and nice it looks so you can see let me show you from the back so this is the pocket so this is what it looks like All right I've also done the same thing on this other side the pocket has been nicely fixed let me bring it out from here so you see so this is the pocket fix it back in <clears throat> and I'm done with the hem right I double folded it and then I stitched on it so it's looking nice and pretty the next now I'll have to do is to overlock the inside this skirt is not going to have a lining so we are almost done with the skirt the next thing will be to fix the zipper at the back if you want a bandless skirt you're going to fix your band first before you fix the zipper and then if you want this skirt to have a band not a bandless skirt that means you're going to fix the zipper before you fix the band but i want to attach a top to this skirt so guys at this point i'm going to attach this shirt to my skirt all right before i fix the zipper because this is going to be a gown so i've attached the upper bodies to the skirt part of this dress i'm going to go ahead and fix my invincible zipper i have a detailed tutorial on how to fix an invincible zipper so i'm not going to be doing that in every of my tutorial i'm going to leave the link to that tutorial in the description box below so you can watch that video or you can click on the card up here to watch that video all right i'm also going to leave in the description box below how to cut a shirt in case you want to learn how to cut a shirt so this is how to cut um, a fleece skirt with sides pockets all right so feel free to use any method you want you can make it bandless or you can attach this skirt part to a top to make it a gown whichever way you want to do yours feel free to do that and then that will be all for this video i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you've not done that already and feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below i'll get to it until next time guys keep crushing keep loving and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye